Hello everybody, Ace Trainer Ryan here, bringing you another week of Draft League in the SPC. We're doing week 6 and we have Team Snagum West as our opponent, the Phoenix Soul Rocks. And uh, for people who don't know, we have a long history with this team. This was actually our first ever Draft League opponent way back in TPL Season 2, I believe. Could, could have been Season 1, I can't remember. Um, but that was a long, long time ago. Uh, Wes and me have a great history. Um, he's an awesome person, great guy. Um, he's helped me more than uh, anybody who wasn't family has. Um, and I'll always hold him in high regard because of that. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the match. All right, so for this match, it's gonna be a little tough. Um, we couldn't bring defensive counters to like everything uh, So we kind of had to pick and choose. Um, I originally had Salazzle on the team to kind of uh, Check the Ogre Pond and I don't have that so um, But I'm hoping since the Ogre Pond does not have access to an item that it won't be You know too much of a headache for us um, But hopefully we dial it up against Wes here. I already told him good luck have fun and uh, hopefully we can get a dub here because the our division is really, really, really tight. Three and two just barely getting us in there. And we're going neck and neck with uh, everybody else in the league. So, Zoroark isn't here. That's great. So, I'm going to default to Sandy Shocks as a lead. Um, things I need to be afraid of. Iron Crown I really didn't prep for. Iron Bundle, if it's Scarf, it can outspeed Boulder even... Uh, with the booster energy speed. Um, he brings Okie Doki and Hapout on. So, like, literally, it's three and a half ground weaknesses on his team. Pretty chill, pretty chill. Alright. You're gonna load it up. I just want to note he didn't bring Altaria, so Stealth Rock turn one is absolutely what we're clicking. Low Kicks is going to be interesting. Um, it was mainly here for the Zoroark to counter it, the Hisui Zor Zoroark. So. He does lead Grimmsnarl. Trying to get those screens up immediately. I want my rocks up immediately. He's going to trick me. He's going to take my Focus Ash, which is annoying. I'm gonna get a Toxic Orb, that's fine. We get our rocks, um, they're gonna stay, so I don't mind too much. Um, a Poudon could come in here. Um, but I think it's fine, I think we just try to Volt Switch. We could break the Sash on the Grim Snarl. He could parting shot into the hip out on, which would suck. But, okay. Or just hard switch. But we have uh, Corviknight for that. Alright, that's fine. So, unfortunately, Sash Miracle into the bundle won't be happening. Does reveal leftovers. Nice to know, nice to know. Can't say I expected much different on Hippo. Alright. Um, before I switch, how much does just raw earth power into this thing do? He doesn't get a boost from sand, obviously. Um, it doesn't do a lot, so I am going to go Corv. Um, he could Terra Electric this or a Terra Fire for Corviknight, but either way, I think an Iron Defense on this thing is just fine. That's just Stealth Rock, beautiful, beautiful. It's gonna suck for Low Kicks, but as long as Low Kicks has any HP, it can still uh, first impression stuff. If he does Terra Electric here or Terra Fire, this should be doing next to nothing after an Iron Defense, and we should outspeed. Beautiful. He doesn't Terra. He could crit me with Stone Edge, which would suck. He curses. Alright. Yeah, I had a feeling this might come 
this might show up. All right, plus one, plus one. Body press would still do a ton here. Um, I'm iron defense again. Hopefully he's not yawn. If he's curse yawn, curse yawn slack off earthquake. I don't think he runs that. Oh yeah, and he revealed rocks, so he definitely doesn't have yawn. All right. It says 60 to 72 percent. I'm fine with just getting some chip on him here. Oh my gosh, that does nothing. My calc is way off here. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I was just tripping. Alright, but we should never lose to this thing. I wouldn't imagine. I hope not. <laughs> Uh, we go, uh, I don't, I didn't mean to body press again, I meant to set another iron defense. This isn't great, this just boils down to one of us trying to crit, it, crit, crit the other here. God, curse hippo, who would have thunk it? Just get to plus six. So he just does revolt body press there. Um, body press, earthquake, curse, stealth rock. No, he's got to have slack off, so he might not have earthquake. If he's mono body press. Then Dragapult just walls this thing. This is kind of funny. I need to keep an eye on his stats because if he does have Terra Electric, I need to keep in mind at what point a secret Terra Blast could just wipe me out. Um, Terra Blast, Electric, it would do a ton starting now, uh, well, we're not at plus six on my calc. Yeah, not terrible. Alright, we'll see who wins this exchange. Um, I can't slack off on this thing, now that I just remember it, I can't roost on it. Um, at what point does Dragapult shred this thing? Um, it does half, which isn't great. We really need chip on this thing. More chip. Um... If we roost, are we getting any HP back? Pure steel. Uh, body press. Oh, this calc is not calcing correctly. Um, yeah, we do. But he might be max defense as well. If he's max defense, so plus four. We do technically get a little HP back, so I'm going to go for one. And he does just curse there, so works out for us. We get more chances to crit him. Um, but that's, that's kind of the only way we win this exchange, so... Uh, it's not looking good, so curse... Body press, stealth rock. I have to believe his last move is slack off. Ooh, 
riveting Pokemon battling here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think my options for revenge killing it. I feel like he's definitely saving a Terra for Primarina. Because he could be Terra Grass. Absolutely. Maybe he's not Slack Off and he's just Leftovers. And he has Terra Blast secretly. I don't know. Not much else to say. If we even crit... Okay, he's Slack Off. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So Hip Hippo just walls this. Alright. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Body press. All right, um, Grimmsnarl definitely comes in here. Like, definitely comes in here. Um, a hard switch out into the Iron Boulder would be quite risky. I'm just going to substitute here. Because we can sub and then we can burn the Grimmsnarl on switch in here. And if he takes my Cherry Berry, I don't care. So good. A little wisp it. If I can keep this thing, well, Hepaldon's kind of annoying. I should have paid attention to how much chip it had, but I feel like the last thing it did was slack off, so it should have quite a bit of HP left. Okay, he can't trick us so substitute anyway. So we are just gonna burn him. Wonderful. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Hex is going to be doing too much to him, even if he is burned. Grim Snarl. Burned. But it's going to rack up, right? Um, he doesn't really have a Hex switch in, but if that, ooh, if that thing comes in, yeah, I, I don't know. Iron Crown comes in, I activate a weakness policy, it could suck here. So, do I want to sub again, or do I want to switch out into something? Trick, Sucker Punch. I feel like Lokix is okay to switch into this thing. He could play rough here and completely, like, fool me. He's bulk up. Um, low kicks, first impression, probably kills him. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. So the Pult switch in's gone. Um, Hippo can come out again. But we can taunt it, because we have taunt on this. Awesome. That's great to know. And he's not going to want to just instantly body press against low kicks. He goes Ogre Pawn. Okay. Well, this is very unfortunate. Um, I could just Sucker Punch him. But if he Swords Dances, it's so bad. I'm going to go for it. Good chip. All 
All right, so we trade Lokix for Grimmsnarl there, and we finally have some Pokemons moving. Um, I don't see a reason why we don't just go out to pull here. Yeah, I think that's our move. All right, um, base hex. Okie dokie could be a salt vest. Um, yeah. We lost low kick, so Iron Crown is a legit issue. Oh no. Okay, hip out on. All right, fine. I thought Iron Crown was gonna come in and immediately get the weakness policy boost. Uh, you guys see an issue here? This thing can't touch us. Um, the Ogre Pond's still alive, but, like, we burn the hell out of this. For sure. Alright. We can definitely just hex again though, right? Hex should do a, a ton, right? Like over half with it burn. Okay, so he gives us Ogre Pond. Well, it'll die to rocks. <laughs> Could be Dogie here. If it's Dogie, I think I just Willow Wisp it. I could see like AV or like assault vest. I, I just said that. I could see AV or bulk up is what I meant to say. Like bulk up drain punch. He does just bring bundle here. Um, I don't think we have a reason to sack this. Because we can go prim. Okay. Speed. Booster speed. Great. Um, that means it's not specs. So AV Prim should eat a freeze dry here, and if he goes for Ice Beam, we even eat it even more. But he should be clicking freeze dry here. I just hope this doesn't crit because we have had a lot of turns go by with no crits. Iron Bundle. Let's give him boots because he's booster speed. Switch back to level 50 calc. So it should just do about 30%, 35 max. And Ogre Pond's not here to switch into Draining Kisses or Moonblast. He does his Ice Beam, so great. Does even less. Um, also, what does he switch into Energy Ball? Energy Ball, Energy Ball. Okie Dogie doesn't love to come in here. Maybe Crown? Um... I kind of just want to flip turn. I right, energy ball. Okay, he does just stay in here, so good thing I didn't overpredict. Energy ball kills it, and that is the only thing that could out that could take care of Iron Boulder. So I think we set up Iron Boulder the first chance we get at this point. Um, Terra's. 
Okie dogie hop out on. He's not gonna tear a hop out on. Ain't no way. It's definitely for the okie dogie here. Okay. Um, I could save this and go Corv. Like, there's no reason to let this just die to Poison Jab. Um, because if Hapaldon gets set up, this is like my only way to kill it. Well, I do still have Pult, so it's not my only way to kill it. He does just immediately Terra. That's cool. We don't have to worry about this later. Dark. Okay. Well, I'm mono body press Corviknight, so... Um, this is gonna hurt. Oh, just kidding. Alright, um... I think we roost up here, imagining he thunder punches. Okay. And we only see Poison Jab on that thing, so it might be banded. I could make the aggressive switch into Primarina, and I think I am. I don't think there's a reason not to. Why'd I click Dragapult? <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, Dragapult's fine too, dude. I was like, in my head, I was like, well, Dragapult's fine too, but then like, you know, Prim is better. But it, it's, it is what it is, dude. Pressure with Pult, that's fine too. He doubles. Iron Crown, okay. I'm gonna Wisp this, because Chip on this is fine. I don't want to trip any sort of weakness policy on this thing, so I will be Draco metering next turn. He rests. <laughs> Yo, that's really cool, Wes. I did not expect that. Are you Resto Chesto? No. Okay, um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Hex is still double damage right now. Iron, Crown... He, let's say he's like match, max HP. Oh, he could be... Well, if he's not weakness policy... He's gotta be weakness policy. Sleep. I have to click X here. That does a lot. No weakness policy? Wow. Okay. Sleep talk. So it's just rest sleep talk. Oh my god, my dog just farted and is the most horrendous thing ever. Jeez, man. I got a candle burning and everything. How do I smell that? Um. So yeah, I think we're fine to just wisp again. I'm sorry, hex again. And then, uh, sand will take us out. That's fine. I halfway expected he could do that. Um, he can go into Okie Dogie here. That's cool. God, that is horrendous. Um, so <laughs> good old uh, Sand Fades. Um, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp this. Because the sand turns ended just there, which is very fortunate for us. He crunches. He's scarfed. Is it bundle? Is it boulder time? Boulder. Okie dogie. Choice scarf. Boom. Dark.
That was crunch, right? Not knockoff. Crunch. Okay. I really hope this crunch doesn't crit. I really hope it doesn't. Does a ton. Woo! All right. Earthquake. 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 Great. Should two hit KO? Yes. Beautiful damage. Um, Okie dokie could have Sucker Punch. Does it get Sucker Punch? I'm gonna look that up real quick. Sorry, sorry if it does. Sucker. No, no, it doesn't. Earthquake again. Can't thunder wave me with Grim. Wait, Grim's Grim's gone. What am I talking about? Yeah, I think this is a cleanup, unless I've just completely oversighted something. Alright, crown goes down. Dogie comes in. We should outspeed. All right, and that is GG to Wes. Thank goodness the Augusta Agrons take home win before our two toughest weeks that we have to end off the season. We are four and two and it is going to take everything we have in the tank to get to playoffs this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. GG to Wes, always a great game. Love this guy, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next week. Bye-bye.